to tell you a little bit about a, a project that was funded by the Bone Cancer Research Trust a couple of years ago, um, looking at the role of autophagy in, in chemo resistance. Um, so a, a running thing this morning, I think, um, is that um, osteosarcoma um, survival rate has remained unchanged over the past 30 years, really. And this is just a graph to display that, but I think we all are aware that one of the main mechanisms that may be because of this is because of chemo resistance. So I'm particularly in a cell survival pathway known as autophagy. And this has been linked to chemo resistance in a number of different cancers. So what is autophagy? So sur autophagy is really a cell survival pathway. And it works by recycling damaged components of the cell thus providing the cell with energy. So autophagy is activated really when the cell is under stress. So this can be due to starvation, um, this can be due to oxygen deprivation, um, cancer and also chemotherapy. So what actually happens is that um, the cell identifies damaged cell machinery, so misfolded proteins, organelles, that sort of thing. Um, the cell then encapsulates this damaged cell machinery and this double membrane autophagosome is what um, encapsulates the, the, the damaged cell machinery basically. So this autophagosome then fuses with an autolysosome and this autolysosome basically releases enzymes into the autophagosome, breaks down all the damaged cell machinery and organelles and recycles it. So this can either cause the cell to die or it can improve cell survival. Um, and some studies have shown that cancer cells can actually use this process to survive during chemotherapy, in particular using drugs like doxorubicin and cisplatin. In osteosarcoma though, the role of autophagy is really still unclear. There have been a few studies done showing that autophagy can cause cell death or cell survival, but really the, the consensus is, is still not known. And it can really vary depending on the drug, the grade and type of tumour. <coughs> so the main aim of our project was really to try and look at what the role of autophagy was in controlling chemo resistance in different grades of osteosarcoma and, and provide a proof of concept that by pharmaceutically regulating autophagy, um, you could alter osteosarcoma cell properties. So one of the main steps in autophagy is the activation of LC3. So LC3 um, basically activates the, the formation of this autophagosome, this double membrane autophagosome and it's really a key step in the autophagy process. So the first thing we did was to look at the expression of LC3 in different grades of osteosarcoma. So we actually used an osteosarcoma tissue microarray to do this. And what we found was that in higher grade osteosarcomas, LC3 expression was significantly increased. So we actually then quantified this and separated by grade and stage. And as you can see, the expression of LC3 is significantly increased as the, the grade and stage of osteosarcoma increases. We also used a, um, a genomics uh, data bank to look at some microarray expression data um, and looked at LC3 expression. And again, what we found is that overall survival uh, in patients that had um, high LC3 expression was significantly different than in patients with low LC3 expression. And this was similar for metastasis-free survival as well. Okay, so LC3 expression equals low survival in, in osteosarcoma patients. So what about the role of autophagy in chemo resistance in different grades of osteosarcoma? Well, then we went on to look at this in a, in a more in vitro model. 
So what we did was we used two different cell lines, MGC threats, MG63 cells, um, which sort of represent a poorly metastatic cell line, and also HOS143B cells, which are, which are more metastatic. Um, and we looked at different <coughs> key components of the autophagy pathway. So this is an extended um, figure of the autophagy pathway here. So here you have the, the conversion of LC31 to LC32, which activates the formation of the autophagosome. And another key component is P62, the gene name is SQSTM1, which basically um, guides these misfolded proteins, organelles and things into the phagophore and the, the autophagosome. So when we looked at the expression of LC3 punctate, so these are these green dots here, what we found was that by treating either HOS143B cells or MG63 cells with doxorubicin or cisplatin, we saw an increase in LC3 punctate. What we also found was that in general, more LC3 punctate were formed in the HOS143B cells, so the more highly metastatic cell line. Um, and this is just a, a quantification of this. So you have more formation of LC3 punctate per cell in the HOS143B cells compared to the MG63 cells. We also looked at P62 expression. So as I was saying, P62 basically guides these misfolded proteins and organelles into the autophagosome. And so when autophagy is happening, when it's upregulated, P62 is actually degraded. And so uh, um, a downregulation in P62 means that autophagy is upregulated. So what we found was that the treatment of the cells with either doxorubicin or cisplatin resulted in a reduction in P62 expression, so autophagy was being activated. Similarly, LC3 conversion, LC31 to LC32, equals increased autophagy. And when we looked at the conversion of LC31 to LC32, we also saw an upregulation with doxorubicin or cisplatin treatment in both cell lines. <coughs> so what about modulating autophagy and osteosarcoma? What we did is we used an autophagy inhibitor, chloroquine, which basically blocks the fusion of the autophagosome with the autolysosome. And what we found was that um, inhibiting autophagy with chlorophene actually reduced the, the IC50 of cisplatin here in, in HOS143B cells. Um, what we are aiming to do now <coughs> is to target specific markers of the autophagy process, so LC3s and ATGs, with CRISPR to try and knock these down and see how that affects the, the function of the osteosarcoma cells. So, in summary, we found that the more aggressive osteosarcoma tumours express high levels of autophagy. Both doxorubicin and cisplatin can induce autophagy in osteosarcoma cell lines, generally with a higher level of autophagy in the HOS143B, more metastatic cell lines. Um, and what we aim to do now is to genetically target autophagy um, to, to provide a better insight into the, into the mechanisms. So I'd just like to thank the Bone Cancer Research Trust for funding this project and to uh, my colleagues Britta and Beata and also my MRS student Gabriel who did most of this work actually. Thank you very much. <laughs>